everybody! I'm trying this again because I just realized I recorded the first half of this without an avatar. So, hi, I'm Mallow. This is my mini marshmallow form, and I'm making yarn hair for my Ailita doll, which I did the sculpting on earlier today. I also recorded so that I can show that on stream. But it takes 48 hours to dry that clay that I used. And um, I don't think y'all want to sit here watching an empty stream for 48 hours while it dries. So I did that ahead of time. Also doing the hair ahead of time. As you can see, I've already cut some lengths of the yarn. Now, if you're not familiar with Code Lyoko, you don't know why I'm using yarn hair instead of using the pink doll hair that I already have that you saw in my mermaid video. The reason is because Ailita, the character I'm making, or re-envisioning really, has very short hair. And doll hair and jumbo braid hair tends to not perform well in super short styles. So, yarn here it is. The acrylic yarn, it has to be acrylic. Wool doesn't work as well. Uh, wool, again, works better in longer styles. But acrylic yarn lays flat and moves naturally, even in very short styles. The only problem is because yarn, the fibers are short, so it's not suited to long hairstyles. Uh, it would just simply will not get long enough without some finagling and tricks. So, once I have all of these tied to my stick. It could be a manicure stick like I'm using because I'm only doing a very small doll. Um, this is the head that I have prepped. It's a Tinkerbell head with a crack in the back because the neck peg was broken and I had to fish it out. Uh, but yeah, it's a very small doll and not quite even Barbie sized so that's going to be fun to paint but the ears and the body shape were very much what I needed for doing a re-envisioning of Aelita because I, I was trying to really capture the character model from the original series but older because one problem that Amalga and I have been discussing recently is why are all these traumatic stories of fighting and apocalyptic bullshittery, why are all the protagonists like Eleven? Now, Code Lyoko is a wonderful series, and I get that it's aimed at kids. But what if it had been aimed at a young adult audience and set on a college campus instead? Or what if even they'd continued the series? What if the threats of Xana and the shady government organization and spoilers, 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 what if all that still wasn't the whole story? What if things were even more out of control than we knew? Now granted, I haven't read the Code Lyoko novels. Uh, not all of them. I read some of the first one, but as I understand, not all of them are translated to English, and my French sucks ass. So, there you go. I don't know if it did continue into their adulthood. It might have. But this is my interpretation of Lyoko after Catech Academy. Oh. 
All right, almost done. I've only got like four more strands after this one. So the yarn that I'm using is this Red Heart Classic, and the color is Grenadine. Which, you know, Grenadine, it's sort of a uh, sweet, I think it's pomegranate syrup. It's used as a mixer in a lot of drinks, alcoholic and non-alcoholic. And it's usually actually a darker color than this even. Um, but this color of yarn is just perfect for Miss Ailita's hair. Oh, hello, Fi. Have you decided to join me? You have opinions about Ailita? Or do you have opinions about Code Lyoko? Or just opinions about the fact that I'm playing with yarn and you're not? All right, two more strands. And come on, over there. Oops. All right, this is enough for this tutorial. I'm going to do another stick of strands off camera, but I don't need to bore you with that lengthy process of me tying knots. I think two sticks full of wefts will be enough for a doll this size. Okay, now those are nice and secure. So I'm just going to open them up a little bit so that they don't totally melt and start to tear the second that I get my brush going. And as for the brush that I'm going to use, a cat brush. Same type that I use for my own cats, but not for cats. As you can see, this has been used for doll hair before. And we just brush. To open up the strands. Brush, 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 and lose the stick. Brush, brush, brush. Pull out this fluff. Do not throw away the fluff. It's useful for other things. You can use it for making flocking. You can use it for stuffing things that need to be stuffed. You can throw it at your cat and annoy them. Well, actually, the fan just threw it at the cat because it is light and fluffy and blowable. And... Once all the strands are good and separated, here's where the experiment part comes in for this project. I've got some lovely fluffy wefts here, a couple of 
that are not wanting to separate right, so I'll just take a pointy and untangle that a little bit more manually. found the knot. Sometimes it knots up. You can choose to try to save the yarn or you can just cut it out. In this case that's pretty tight. I'm just gonna snip that knot out and brush it again. All right now here's where the experiment part comes in since I can't find my hair straightener. unroll my heat proof sheet and out comes my mini iron. You'll probably use a full size iron uh, if that's what you have. Yeah, that's working just as well. I am going to take my personal hair comb and just neaten the strands and wefts a little bit more. So while that iron is coming to full temp, I've given it the best possible texture of yarn weft to work with. Flat and shiny. So spread the wefts a little bit more over. And nice and flat and shiny. So the downside is you're not doing both sides at the same time like you would be with a hair straightening iron, but it's still effective. And honestly, it doesn't smell as bad as my old hair straightener from school either. know how old appliances sometimes get that weird musty dusty smell yeah this is pretty new so it doesn't have that and there you have it beautiful straight shiny short hair wefts for a doll so Spread some tacky glue and use this one because it's already got some glue on it. Just spread a good layer of the glue. I'm just gluing the hair straight to the doll today. You would normally like make a wig cap or something. Feeling lazy today. Okay. 
I'm going to get my little hot mat out of the way so I don't get glue on it. And take the wefts like one or two, maybe three at a time. Snip. And place. Coordination sucks today. Why did I think this was a good idea at this precise moment? And why can I never do this without getting glue all over my everything? Okay, this is not bad considering previous yarn hair attempts that I've made. Oops, I got a bit stuck to my other finger. I'll let that dry for a bit. And I will finish up the hair off camera. It'll be ready for stream. But as you can see, that's what it looks like so far. And when she's done, her hair will look something more along the lines of this. But less fluffy because I'm going for a more realistic updated look. All right. And one last look at the doll so far. I'm going to go finish this hair. You all stay safe, stay healthy, stay happy. Most importantly of all, 
stay weird, and I'll see you in the next video or stream, whichever comes first. Bye-bye!